Street Fighter toys, come on. Please be here so I don't have to go to any other targets. And of course it's not here. Not surprised considering this target. I do have Utram. Several of them. Any hiding back here? Nope. Last Ronin, dialect version. All the usual stuff. No, right. do have more Duke. All right. Yeah, no Street Fighter. Dang, I can't wait to spot those. All right, let's move on. Looks like they are restocking a lot of the Mario stuff at a lot of targets, from my observation, which is nice. They're excellent looking figures. Anything new here? Nope. As for the Marvel Legends front, they don't have much here. Matter of fact, oh, they have this Spider Woman. Cyborg Spider Woman. Which looks nothing like a woman. That probably is gonna offend somebody. What's this? Blast and Battle Groot Titan Hero Series Morlock Crimson Bat yeah, I've seen them before we got Falcone Do got a gold label collection Batman Dark Detective Wally West Series Batman, yeah, we've seen all these. All right, that's about it, dudes. Of course, we got the Batwing here. It's everywhere now. Oh, can't wait to get my hands on the Batmobile. All right, let's go somewhere else. All right, check it out. They do have the Game of Thrones McFarlane Seraxes figure. This is one of the dragons that show shows up in this show. Other websites is 40 bucks and Target does price match so I may do that Batman Dark Detective that looks pretty cool gold label exclusive I did find a pack of Fleer Ultra Avengers So this will be my, I think, fourth or fifth blaster box that I'll be opening from this line. Hopefully we get some good cards. I also have the Eternals dragon there. Omega Spawn. Sam and Twitch. 30% off Funko Pops. Well, Black Panther Funko Pops. Yeah, this section is pretty dry. I think they're about to, yeah, reorganize. Got scroll. Oh, was... Huge Avengers Endgame. Whoa, it's only two pops. Of Korg and Thor. Interesting. <laughs> oh, Meek is in there too somewhere. <laughs> 60 bucks, jeez. Alright. Wow. 
Lost but Wonder Woman. Right. Have all the usual NECA figures. Yeah. Seen all of these plenty of times. Let's move on. I do have Ultram. Ultram, sorry. This is new as well. Down to. It's the only one here. And this is a Target exclusive. Yeah, let's grab one. Dracula. Black and white version. All the usual stuff. So. Yeah, I'm gonna pick this up. Let's get out of here. Hey y'all! Check it out, they had a restock. Hopefully they have Saul Guerrero. Let's see what they have. Looks like the Black Panther wave has showed up at Ollie's. Yeah, and Ikea, Shuri, the whole crew here. We got Cap. From the Infinity Saga. This is going for $9.99. Was $17.99. Yeah, plenty of this Rintra wave. We got King Sphinx. Oh, we got this wave too. Marvel's Armadillo wave. Is that a whole bunch of. Yeah, it's just this character. Shriek. Oh, we got Lady J here. Okay, she's going for $9.99 as well. No, $12.99. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, look at this. We got some Ghostbusters. Do these glow? I think they do. Yeah, glow in the dark. These are going for $7.99. Is it just Spangler or the whole crew? Yeah, I'm only seeing Spangler so far. Yeah. Rhinox. Proton Blaster, Ghostbusters. Okay, so this is starting to show up here as well. 12 inch Ghostbuster figures. Got this dude here. Bug Eye Ghost set. <coughs> and some 3 3 quarter figures. Yeah, it's all Leia's. Dang, no Black Series? I may have to look around a bit more. Looks like the Eternals waves is showing up here as well. $7.99 each. Black Widow is still here. Still got these. These Motu stuff. Yeah, plenty of them. Alright, I'll have to come back another time to find Saul Guerrera. Oh, wait, I spoke too soon. Here we go. Saul Guerrera. Still got Dengar here too. Such a nice figure. For 10 bucks. Oh, look at this. We got the Boba Fett. Vintage retro carded figures here too. Plenty of them. Jesus. $4.99 each. Man, I thought these were flying off the shelves. Like, apparently not. Leia, we also got the armor, $4.99. Yeah, plenty of Saul Guerreras, which, which is very nice to see. I was trying to get a clearance deal on the on this figure at Targets, but I was too late, but I think it's even cheaper here, $9.99. I don't know if it got cheaper than that. Maybe it did, but not by much, I'm sure. So we got Scrotum Chin, Dr. Amazon. Heck yeah, I'm very happy with this find here. Look at this, we got all these Ghostbuster figures. Remember these? guy goes again we got the fearsome flush toilet $3.99 how much were these originally $9.99 we got 
LeBron as Robin? What the heck? I've not seen that Space Jam movie. I don't plan to. I think that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Let's get out of here. Check it out, dudes. We got some new Ninja Turtles Meet Mayhem merch. We got Rocksteady and Bebop here. Very cool. Really love how these came out. We got some hooded blankets here as well. Of all the turtles. I don't see Donnie though. Is this Donnie? And this is a nap mat. As you can see. And then we have the plushies here. They're pretty big. They're tall. They got all the turtles. They look freaking awesome. I might have to grab all of these today. <laughs> What else do they have? Let's see. They got a sheet here, twin sheet set. And then we got a blanket here, which looks freaking awesome. If I have kids, I'd buy them this. Maybe I'll buy. Yeah, this is a twin size. Yeah, too small for my bed. This is too small. Yeah, these look great. Really looking forward to watching the movie. Alright. Okay, I'll think about it. Let's get out of here. Check it out, my dudes. We got some new Marvel Legends. Some really attractive looking ones. I've seen all these before. Rocket, Drax, they're all over the place. Cap, of course, Groot. We got Chamber. Let's take a closer look here. Yeah, effect piece is pretty cool. Cyclops. come with a bath piece does not look like it yep no bath piece for Cyclops that looks pretty good I'm probably gonna get that down the road not paying no $25 Ant-Man the astonishing Ant-Man I already got an Ant-Man figure like this so I'm good I think actually maybe not Who else we got here? We got Corsair. Yeah, definitely getting Star Jammers. Corsair. No doubt. Marvel's Fang back there. Let's check them out. Looks exactly like Puma almost. Yeah, the face is slightly different. Probably same body mold. Eh, looks okay. Details are pretty weak. Oh, Emma Frost. Is there any more? Let's see. Who's that? Another Emma Frost. We're missing Monet, Kid Omega. Yeah, those two. Emma Frost. Yeah, that face go. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. Body looks good. about it okay very nice to see some new legends as always but of course we're not paying that high price that's why they're here it's Saturday night so yeah these were still $20 I'm pretty sure most of these would not be here we got Iron Man back here part of the Puff Adder wave Molly Command yeah I've seen a whole bunch of these yep. And let's see. I'll go really slow for once. Oh, we got the basic set here. The Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. 60 bucks. Rocket. Looks like his eyebrows. Oh, squeeze legs, okay. That's actually pretty cool. $27.99. What the fudge? Hasbro. Yep, Hasbro. Light as heck. Light as a feather. They are making a killing. Maybe not anymore. Maybe not as much as I think. Because of the prices. You definitely see a lot more Marvel Legends on the shelves that remains on in the stores. Project Superman. I'm pretty sure we've seen all of these. Yeah. 
this does look good yeah I kind of want this wave here where's the other well this is yeah gold label exclusive but the other runners hmm. Falcon we got cover girl back there kind of looks like squirrel girl some bat, we've seen that. The windowless packaging. Got that there. The Joker. Ooh, Dark Flash. Hmm. So we'll see him in the movie. And then I was hoping that they would have Casey Jones in the Phantom of the Opera outfit, but. It's not at this store yet. Of course, we got a whole bunch of predators. Herman Munster. Let's see this last Ronin figure, everyone. No one's taken that for some reason. Is that one? Yeah. Bebop. Rocksteady. We got the thugs here. I'm kind of surprised they're still here. Do got man ray, man ray as well. Always tempted to get this one. Terminator, Elf. Yeah, no KC Jones, unfortunately. It's gonna show up here probably like five weeks. Gremlins, a bunch of plushies, Green Arrow. Big boy, that's it, dude. I got some Ninja Turtles plushies. Wrath. Oh shit! I'm sorry, Demona. She's been here for quite a while. Hudson's have been. Yeah, I haven't seen Hudson for quite a while. Yeah, no Ryu. I really want those Street Fighter figures, but. It's all right. We'll eventually find them or order them on line somewhere. All right, let's get out of here. All right, Street Fighter figures. Doesn't look like they're. He oh no way! <laughs> and we do have Ryu. We got plenty of reuse, dude. We found them in the freaking wild. That is what I'm talking about. Love the packaging. It's got a little bit of weight in there. Nice. It's not some cheap plastic up in there. Definitely have to look at the paint apps. Got to see some marks on this Ryu. And they have five Ryus. Actually, four. And then two Fei Longs. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. Don't have to visit any more targets today. Hey, Yoshi. Feeling kind of lazy, so that's very nice. Alright, I said grab the card. You don't know who's gonna swoop in. Cause these are hot right now. These are fire. These are yoga flame. Yoga flame. Hmm. Yes. I'm gonna be collecting this whole line, no doubt. Okay. Let's take a look at the back. Yeah, Chun Li's out too. Not in stores yet. I know she's up for pre-order, so yeah, she looks pretty good too. Yes, I'll hold on to one at least, just in case somebody comes and just picks them all up. Yeah, yeah, they got. I'm surprised with this weight here, man. What else do they have? Man, I, don't, I really don't care what else they have, but I'll show y'all. <laughs> Same old stuff. Predators, Dracula. Oh no, I'm looking for this too. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Casey Jones as Phantom of the Opera. As Phantom. Yeah, the Opera. Heck yeah, man. Alright, I guess I should look at the paint apps on this one too. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, it looks good. This cape is probably back there somewhere. Yep. Got the hockey sticks. 
excellent. Oh, they got the new gargoyles too. <laughs> Man, this target is banging today. I doubt I'm gonna get this. Yeah, I don't need this. I like how the box looks. It's got that Sega look on the NECA logo there. Packing mail. Alright, I think that does it for this section. Yeah, let's go check some other toys. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you've all been doing well. You know, I think it's been what, like a month and a half since I uploaded. So, yeah, my apologies for no update or anything like that. It's just been so busy for me, and I didn't expect to, you know, be gone from uploading videos for this long. You know, it just kind of happens. Um, just get caught up with life and y'all know how it is but um yeah i've also been trying to take a break from the toy community for the most part you know there's several youtube channels that i still uh, keep up with and lurk about but um i deleted my instagram about uh about two months ago you know i've been trying to just stay away from social media because you know being in this toy collecting hobby it takes up a lot of time you know you're watching toy hunt videos you're scrolling through social media feeds and you're toy hunting. It just takes up so much time. And, you know, most of us work, you know, full time. You know, we got to uh, pay bills and all that jazz and pay for this hobby. So, you know, I felt like it was really hindering a lot of aspects in my life. So, yeah, I needed this break and it's been um, a positive experience for me. And I only could speak for myself, but, yeah, it's been hindering a lot of aspects in my life. So, it just felt like the right thing to do, and I'm going to continue to do so because I just feel like there's a lot of things I need to catch up on, on working on, you know, within myself and other things that I just kind of just ignored for the longest part. And, you know, toy collecting has just, like, taken over my life for the last, last several years. Um, but, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if any of y'all have gone through this phase or going through this phase right now, like, you feel like, this hobby is just taking up way too much time. You know, it, it can be very dangerous too. You know, I'm sure it has probably even caused divorces, you know, <laughs> you know, seriously. But um, all in all, you know, other than that, I've been doing all, I've been doing all right, just busy as hell. And like I said, I'm going to be um, very busy for the next several months. So I don't know how consistent, how consistently I'm going to be uploading. But um yeah um also thank you shout out to everybody who's been reaching out through like instagram and you know checking up on me you know so i really appreciate that but uh, i guess that's my love life update um let's go and get to this haul. all right first off i'm going to show you all some stuff that i got from online uh this is from uh, ebay i got this figure of teal indeed indeed Indeed. He is a character from the show Stargate, uh, specifically the SG-1 series. And he's a definitely a very unique character. Let me know if any of y'all are SG-1 fans. Freaking love the series. And this is my favorite character from the show. And look how realistic his face sculpt is. I mean, so spot on. And this is from Diamond Select, so... I mean, I'm pretty sure retail price was like 20 or $30. And this is, I think, over 10 years old. So it makes you question, like, why are all these other modern figures, face sculpts, so bad? Like, that's spot on. Let me know what y'all think. All right. In addition to that, also got another SG-1 figure. This is a Serpent Guard. And this is a very rare figure. Very difficult to get. I got pretty lucky because this, I bought a different figure of uh, Samantha Carter, another SG-1 character. And he sent like the wrong item, so he wanted to fix his mistake and he sent me this for free. And this figure goes for like over 70 bucks. So, you know, it's one of those moments, you know, you have hope for humanity. Like, man, definitely a good guy or a good person that I was dealing with. I really appreciate it. I appreciate his integrity. Um, but yeah, very, very pleased with these purchases. All right, let's go and get to some other figures. All right, next we have the Mesco 
Michael Keaton Batman. Great looking figure. Um, articulation is very interesting. They um, used a whole different body for this particular figure. And aesthetically, it looks awesome. I really like it. Um, you can't really put him in the most dynamic pose. I mean, I guess you can with his arms and legs, but not his neck. Because it really, because of this cowl right here, it just, as you can see, <laughs> the symbol follows. It just looks awkward when he's in a very dynamic pose. But, yeah. Face sculpt looks spot on. Looks really good. You know, there are a lot of issues, you know, that people are complaining about. But, I mean... Just having this figure like this, I'm, I'm pretty pleased about. All right, up next, we have, let's see. We have the Mesco X-Force Wolverine. I won't get too much into this one. But yeah, looks good. Mayfix always does a good, great job. Good articulation, aesthetically pleasing. Uh, let's see. Also got, finally opened up Spiral here. This is such a fun figure to play with. Like, really satisfying to articulate. Love how they did a really good job with this figure. Really like it. I mean, look at that. Looks so freaking good. Love it. All right. And then let's see. From figure arts, we got the Kakashi figure. Oh, yes. Had to have Kakashi. Can't wait for the other uh, new Naruto figures that they're going to come out with, the original ones. I'm really glad I didn't get the, the older versions of the, the characters. And, yeah, I got to say, this figure is is great. Great articulation. Uh, comes with several face sculpts. A lot of uh, different hands. Um, yeah, just, I mean, they really couldn't go wrong with this one. It was hard to be. I mean, figure arts is always doing a great job. And, yep, there's Kakashi from the anime Naruto. All right, up next, we got another Mayfix figure. And it is of Nightwing. Oh, yes. And, yep, another great figure. Mayfix always does a good job for the most part. Remember, I didn't really enjoy the, I uh, didn't like the Mandalorian one. I got so I sold that, but this looks good. Finally got a Nightwing. I I still may get like one of the uh, McFarland ones, but yeah, this one looks great. What do y'all think? Yeah, I had this pre-ordered from last year, so really glad that finally came in. And let's see, we also got, of course, from Ollie's. We grabbed Saw Guerrera. Love this character. Love his armor. He's got such a unique look. And got him for $9.99, so can't beat that. Really pleased with this purchase. Looks great. Can't wait to get Andor, Cassian Andor, and Luthen Rao in the collection and put them all together. All right, and let's see. Um, as y'all, yeah, as y'all can see, I finally opened up Namor from the box. Great character. Finally watched the movie, and I really enjoyed it. I didn't like the like the first 20, 30 minutes, kind of boring, but then it got so freaking good. All right, let's go and get to some other figures. All right, and from Target, finally found the Jada Toys Street Fighter figures of Ryu and Fei Long. These were very satisfying hunts, as y'all saw. And yeah, these look great. My only complaint is the face sculpts. I, it just kind of remind me of the just basic figures. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you can agree to disagree. But overall, they look great. The gi is removable on Ryu, which is an awesome addition. And love the packaging. I mean, really couldn't. They really couldn't have done a better job with the packaging. At the back. Looking forward to hunting all these figures. Oh, I wonder how E Honda's gonna come out. And Blanca. Really stoked for this line. I'm sure most of y'all are as well. 
yeah, let me know if y'all been finding this or what do y'all think about these figures. Um, obviously, I haven't taken them out, in the out of the packaging yet, so don't know how good the articulation is. But it looks really good so far. And, yeah, very pleased with these. All right, and then we also found NECA Casey Jones as the Phantom. Oh, yes. That looks so freaking good. Now from this line, I only now I only have Casey Jones obviously and Moby Mike. Most of y'all know I love turtles, but for some reason, you know, in this series, Raph and Leonardo, they just don't attract me. Maybe I'm just you know, like being stubborn. I'm like sticking to my guns. I'm like I'm just gonna be very selective. I'm probably eventually going to get them all, but for now, I'm really pleased with the ones that I'm choosing. I'm definitely going to get Donnie as Invisible Man. That looks really good. And I think that's about it. I'm not, yeah, I'm not really... I don't really like the Splinter one in the April as well. Anyways, that's all I got for y'all, my dudes. Hope y'all are doing great. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it a whole heap. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves mentally and physically. Um... And yeah, if you want to share in the comments down below your uh, experiences with the uh, this this hobby, let me know if it has been hindering certain aspects of your life as well. I'd like to know. And yeah, uh, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch y'all next time. All right, Ranger out. Peace.